Hey guys, it's the Big Fat Pig. Welcome back to another compound guide, aimed to provide a quick and simple introduction on what to expect from compounds in the cell. Today we will dive into pearl plantation. Let's start with an overview of the compound. Pearl plantation is another pretty straightforward compound in my opinion. It has a rather large boss arena with several houses to the west side and a hatch maze next to it. Let's talk about approaching the boss arena from four directions. Take a look at the diagram over here, which shows the main entrances that I'll be covering in today's video. Since it is pretty straightforward, we're going to focus on looking at the boss arena from the first floor and second floor perspective. Now let's start with the first floor. In every of the four directions, north, south, east and west, there are double doors. With the exception of the southwest side, there are two windows which can be vaulted through. Some of the windows, although unbreakable, can still show a silhouette of the interior boss arena. In the east side, there is a ladder that leads to the second floor balcony. On the north side, there is a ramp that leads to the second floor balcony. On the second floor itself, there are multiple entrances which makes it beneficial for teams to push from. There are double doors on the north and south side of the compound. You can vault through most of the windows on the second floor. Since it's almost impossible to trap up all the windows and entrances on the second floor and I mean in this compound, I'm just going to show you what I feel are possible places that you can take some peeks from and maybe get snag a couple of kills. So firstly this one in the corner over here, both are in similar corners, but I think this corner over here is pretty, pretty, pretty safe, well not really safe but you know what I mean. So you can take some peeks over here. They're, often there are teams fighting on the outs, outskirts of the wall over here. So you can take some peeks here, the hole in the wall, you know. And then you can always also hop back in at any moment. And you can have decent cover here. And also uh, next up in this corner over here. Similarly, uh, this corner here, I, I would say is pretty safe. If you crouch here, it's very unlikely that they can hit you unless they know that you're in this corner here. But while approaching, you can always like take some peeks, you know, all these angles, all pretty viable while still being able to dip behind to be in cover. Like, I think this is metal, right? Yeah, this is metal, so pretty safe. And you can always, again, Pop back in, come out, peek, run around. Over here, you can take some angles as well. You kind of have a angle to the maze. Is this the maze? Yeah, this is the maze, yeah. Snack some kills, run back in. And that's about it. This is a pretty simple compound, I would say. So the main issue with this compound is that the second floor, you're pretty vulnerable to all the windows and like balcony basically. So you do want to keep that in mind. Um, but if you decide to hold on the first floor, which all, like most of the windows are all barred up, you can't really, they can't really get in besides some of the exceptions. 
you can mainly focus on the doors, right? But then you have the issue of the second floor where uh, they would reach in and push down from, from the top. So you could try to focus uh, on holding the first floor and anticipating that they'll be pushing from the top while you keep everything on the entrances like trapped. Or you could take a risk and take the second floor and trap up the stairs and then you'll be basically um you'll basically be watching from a higher vantage point but it also has its risk as there are many windows that they can pop in so yeah there are many ways you can hold this compound the interior is huge so that's also another issue like it's not like you can just rush in and like clear the whole compound in like 10 seconds you know it's it's pretty big and open people are gonna be hiding in corners with shotguns they literally can just i mean you can literally just hide in corners hide behind like furniture like this you know yeah keep that in mind so yeah that's it for this compound um it's really one of the more straightforward compounds uh, in my opinion there are still uh, many many ways that peep attackers can push into the compound which is good so people can't just barricade themselves inside but yeah thank you for watching this video i hope uh, it was helpful let me know if i missed out any details that you think are important um i'll see you next time